transform your plastic planter paws into some stylish decor for home and garden. All the juicy details coming right up. Hi, it's Marcy and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I share with you how to take ordinary black nursery pots, could be any size, any color, combined with styrofoam peanuts to make this extraordinary planter for your home. We have a lot of creating to do, so without further ado, let's go into my studio and get this party started. You're gonna need a similar kind of black pot, whatever size you want some paper, lots of paper, made into strips. And for those of you who don't know, I'm gonna share this tip with you, that if you have, uh, let's say, a water paper, newsprint or whatever, um, newsprint has a nap to it, and that's really easy to strip it instead of having to cut it. See, look at that, how easy, right? And if you want, you just cut it in half if you want just different sizes or something like that. Anyway, that's just to show you that. A crusty glue ball. And you're gonna need some water. I'm gonna do a two parts glue to two parts water, so 50 50. Mix that up a little bit. And the whole idea here is we're gonna make this uh, black pot, the plastic part, really um, very stiff and more durable because that's part of the issue right now is number one, it just looks like an ugly black pot. The whole idea here is going to be putting the strips over here. Now, keep in mind, I have already sealed this outside with the black Gorilla Tape. All of the holes here, except for this hole here, all the inside holes have already been taped up, just so you know. So just to get this going, I am going to just simply start putting this on. You're gonna be creating layers. and you're gonna be covering up this pot entirely with a couple of layers. And keep going, this is gonna take a little bit of time. It does go fairly quickly. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna keep on going with this. My black plastic nursery pot is finished, it's hard. It's super, super durable with this paper mache, you know, the glue and the paper on it. Our amazing black plastic planter pot is dry. And now what I'm doing is taking assorted peanuts, these styrofoam peanuts, and we're gonna place them around, all around the outside, and we'll be using this mastic. The idea here is you really wanna secure these fairly well. Our styrofoam peanuts on our pot are dry enough to start our next step. Now, what I have here is, I don't know if you can really even read it anymore because I have so much stuff on it. This is an additive that you would add to concrete. And this time what I'm doing is I'm adding it to a little bit of thin set. I'm not adding water. I'm gonna add a little bit of this material and I'm gonna give it a good stir. And this is nothing more than a bonding agent. We don't want to make this too thick. We're going to go over several coats. The first one is just a slight slurry to get this bonded and covered and coated. Mix it up well and then let it rest for just a couple seconds. Okay, I'm gonna take this, lay it down. Okay. Always helps if you have your table coated with a little bit of plastic. Our thin set is dry. And there's a little bit of flexibility here still, but that's to be expected, that's normal. We're gonna go over this again. And you can see that there's some areas that I didn't get through in the first pass over. So I'll mix up the solution once more. We have our thin set and we have our Sika bonding agent. We're gonna mix that up.
Okay, I went and got another chip brush here, a new one, a fresh one. There are a couple of areas here that I see have deeper cracks. I'm going to just pour this mixture in here and then drag my brush over it for better coverage. Okay, check your work over carefully and Listen, if it needs a second pass, you're gonna do a second pass. It's not a big deal. You're simply looking at a little bit of thin set with a little bit of bonding agent. All right, we'll let that dry up and we'll be back. Round three, another light coat. Really stiff and very durable, but I'm gonna feel a lot better by putting one last coat on. Dump some on here. We're finishing up here. I'm gonna let it dry one more time, one last time, and we'll be back. I'm finishing out the top part of the pop. The rim. Quite frankly, I would have done it a little bit differently. And in the future, I would completely do the top part and work my way down. When I did this pot, I worked from one side to the other and I went around and I really should have been paying more attention to the top part of the rim where it joins up here. And it's okay. I mean, this is, I'm not gonna try to keep hiding it because then it's gonna be, might become a mess, uh, but it's okay. So you can see here, I've got the rim and then this is raised up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. You can see that right there, it comes up raised and then it kind of trims down a little bit on this side, whatever. I could possibly build this up once this dries, I could possibly build it up. It doesn't look bad, it looks, you know, uh, organic. And you want to completely trim out the edges here so that blends with the sides. I might do a little bit in here. All right, let's let this dry up. And what I'd like to do is add a couple of little legs, four to be exact. And I'm using the cork, I cut it in half. Sand these down a little bit just to make them a little bit more even. And then I'm gonna set them in the thin set. And let me see, that's looking pretty good. What I'm gonna do is create like a little pad here for them to rest in. I want to simply do away with some of the mess that I made on the side. Now, granted, nobody's gonna see it, but I know it's there and I don't want it there. So we're just gonna go around. You wanna position one here, 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 whatever you wanna do for your little legs, that's, that's cool. Yep, like it, like it, like it. All right, that's fine. Need a little bit of a mess here, but it was well worth the effort of making it level or checking to see if it was level. 